Hey, welcome back to Bear Squid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick live class demonstration on how I'm teaching some concepts using a GDC. So let's go. I've joined a Google Classroom on my iPad as well as my laptop here. So I'm, I'm connected to both devices. Yesterday, we were doing a lesson on um, on stats, working out the mean and median. Okay. And so just today, I want to show you the demo and how you can do it on a GDC. Uh, some of you may have a, um, the TI-84. Let's just pause there. Uh, what I'm doing here, as you can see, the two um, video feeds here. One is me on my laptop. That's the camera. That's the view of myself. And then the top down, the OHP, is basically um, the calculators. So I'm using an application called IPEVO. Uh, and that allows me to look down on any item. It could be, uh, in this case, calculators. Uh, however, it could be anything really. Uh, you could do uh, a demonstration, a science demonstration, whatever it is, to be honest, uh, an art piece, okay, a reading comprehension, whatever it is. Uh, and on the grid, you can see the blurred out faces. There are students who are at home as well as students who are in the classroom. Okay, let's carry on viewing this. There is an app that you can download uh, for this calculator, which is free of charge. I'll show you that in the end, so stick around for that, okay? Our objective, we have one single objective, how to use the GDC, okay, to find the mean and median. So here you can see students can actually view what I'm sharing on the screen. They can see um, what I'm sharing on the iPad. So let's go ahead and check this out. So here I've got my two calculators at the bottom. Uh, the iPad is projecting down. And so it can see that students can see that on uh, their devices i'll show you on the ti inspire first how to do this okay so just bear with me so let's kick this off by turning on the calculator it's just the on button here okay go ahead and turn it on uh, here you go you can see that that's on there what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, the spreadsheet okay so we're gonna go to the fourth one which is a spreadsheet so go across to spreadsheet and then press on enter enters at the bottom by the way or you can press in the center here okay so we're gonna open up a new spreadsheet now that we've opened up a new spreadsheet what we need to do is we need to enter the data now let's look at an example that we might have okay so before I go ahead and do that let's just go back to the textbook so look, since I'm using the iPad, this presentation screen from the iPad, I can navigate from different applications. So the application that I was using before, IPEVO, was an overhead projector, okay, like a like a document camera. And now I've gone onto GoodNotes or the textbook, and I can view and annotate the textbook as well. Uh, so it's very versatile. Uh, this blended learning platform. Let's have a look at what see what happens next. So 25 children were asked how many Christmas presents they received last year. The results are shown in the table below. Since we've done this question yesterday, we should know what we're looking to get, okay? So here we go. Students are actually making notes in the copy books in class as well as home um, while I'm going through the demo. Okay, what I'm gonna do here, yeah, is I'm just gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna go to stats and across from stats, you'll see statistical calculations, stat calc, can you see that? Yeah, stat calc. And then if I go across from stat calc, I've got one variable stats. Can you see that? One variable statistics. Doreen, you see that? So I can confirm that students know what they're doing, both in class and online, um, through this hybrid model. You can read here from the question. Where was it? Again, I've switched in between uh, GoodNotes and IPEVO. 25 children. Okay. If you're on Android, you're using this. Now I'm sharing, I can actually annotate on um, IPEVO. The, it's a whiteboard overhead projector type of document scanner hybrid. Uh, and you can see here, I'm doodling. I can actually write on it as well. I can annotate live. Android is gonna be Webit Emu. Is that okay? Go back to the exercise that we were dealing with yesterday, okay? and I want you to practice using your GDC. Now, if you've got the TI Inspire, use that, okay? Uh, if you have the TI-84, go ahead and use that. If you don't have any of these, go and download one of these applications so you can practice, okay? It's very important. This is just the tip of the iceberg. We're gonna be using it for other 
exercises, of course, okay, you need to get used to using it. So now students are starting to navigate their calculator or whatever it is, it could be a science project or whatever. They see a live demonstration of what's happening in class and then they can attempt it themselves. Okay, so we are continuing to learn on all aspects, um, you know, of our thinking routines. Uh, students really are allowed to use technology to carry on with their learning. And that's in class as well as at home, okay, in class as well as at home using a hybrid model.